I built this arm for my camera a few months back and I've gotten great use out of it and I love having it to uh, film my wood turning but there are a few problems with it one of the biggest ones being the way I just attach it to my ceiling like that if you look closer you can see that this is just screwed directly into the ceiling above and the problem with this is I film on this lathe sometimes and on that one so I end up having to move this from lathe to lathe every now and then and having to unscrew the whole thing with a ladder and it's, it's, it's always just a bit tedious so I want to make some sort of a system where I won't have to unscrew it. My thought was to make some sort of a track for the top part there that the caster is attached to to slide in and out of. That way I can get more uh, views with my camera and I can just slide it right out and slide it into a separate track over that lathe. Uh, here is some loose drawings I've done. Uh, this was my first thought, just a uh, track system like this that would just screw into my ceiling with an overhang for the top base there to sort of slide in and out of. And the easy part about this is I can just make one very long strip uh, like this and cut up the pieces I need and screw them above my workbench here, above my bandsaw, above my table saw so I can just slide my camera arm in and out of all of them. I had another idea that would be some sort of a sliding dovetail system. And I like this idea much more, but in all actuality, this seems like a bit tedious to do um, a lot of consistently. So I think I'm gonna stick with this idea. So I'm just going to take it from there, um, I'm just going to do this as I go, I don't have much plans other than these, and uh, we'll see how this turns out. Got this long 1x3 left over from the TARDIS door project, so I'm just going to go ahead and take this down to my table saw and cut a 3 quarter inch strip out of it, and then an inch and a quarter inch strip for the overhang, and I'm just going to cut out two, uh, one of each strip out of this, uh, covering the full length of this, and I'm pretty sure that'll be more than enough. Be. I've just installed a half inch round over in my router. Uh, I'm pretty new to the router. I picked this up on Craigslist a long time ago, maybe a few, five months or so ago over the summer. And um, I never got around to buying the router bits for it. And just for Christmas, I got a pack of round overs from my parents. So I'm gonna give these a try. I, I'm not gonna round over all the edges. I'm just going to round over the bottom two on the overhang. So go ahead and turn this on and give that a try. Alrighty, I pretty much got every C clamp, bar clamp, and spring clamp I own all laid out here. Um, I got my my piece, got my bottle of wood glue. I debated whether or not I should uh, get a nailer and nail it and glue it or use screws, but in the end, I realized that I rounded over that edge 
And uh, right now I don't really have a screw shallow enough that would go in there without poking through because it's a kind of awkward job to screw something. So I got my wood glue. I'm just going to spread it over the whole thing and uh, take, take all my clamps there and uh, glue it. So here we go. to dry I'm gonna start unclamping this whole thing and uh, see what I've got okay and uh, that looks really nice actually I don't have that much squeeze out at all. Um, everything's pretty flush, except for a few spots right here and here. Um, the inside does have a little bit of squeeze out in there, which I will now just uh, kind of scrape out of there. But um, other than that, that looks pretty cool. Okay, I went ahead and marked everything out. Um, I have my two one foot sections for the smaller lathe and two two foot pieces for my new lathe. Um, uh, I'm gonna do the smaller lathe at one foot each because I did I do want a lot longer pieces for my other lathe over there to give me a little more freedom with uh, views for filming. So uh, just go ahead and start cutting this at my marks. Okay, I'm ready to start um, attaching these. I have them right here. I'm just going to go ahead and attach the one and I'll put the other one to fit. Now I was wondering how I was going to get these up here nicely and in the end I just settled on my uh, nail gun. So I'm just going to go ahead and tack these into place with that. 
go ahead and take this. Here I got this all lined up here. And I'm just going to drive this in at a side at an angle. Hope to God I get it. <laughs> up there and the last one ah there we go and that's up there okay just gonna go ahead and position the other one and tack it in place too Alrighty, um, there we go. I got my camera arm all attached up there. Just slides right in, nice loose fit. Uh, it does slide around up there, so I could just pull that right out and put it in the ones above this lathe here. So that makes my life a lot easier. No more having to get up there with a ladder and unscrew my whole camera arm. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, like if you like the video.